Hi guys, welcome back to the Did Odds Hair Style and today, guess what? We're, we're finally back with a recipe. We're doing a recipe. We ain't going to do them very often, but we will do them. And today is like an invention. Well, I, I certainly haven't seen it before. No, so, can you guess what we're doing from these listed ingredients? Plain fella. Eggs. Milk. Good old pink Himalayan salt. Good old garlic. Garlic. Good old chives. And Good old garlic pepper. <laughs> and. Marinara sauce. Can you see? Yeah. If you want to know how to do this, we've already done a video. So uh, we'll link it in the description that has been on how to do marinara sauce. We are making a Yorkshire pudding pizza. Now, me and my son are, are arguing about the names. So, I'm going to put a pinned comment into the comment section. And if you'd like more suggestion for the name. Sunday style pizza. Because it's a Yorkshire pudding. You have that for your Sunday dinner. Put a dislike. On the comment. On the comment itself. But if you like pizza, pizza in a pod, put a thumbs up in the comment section. Anyway. Anyway, let's get on with it. Now, for the Yorkshire pudding, I don't ever, ever, ever Actually measure. measure because I've been doing it for that long. You just, but you just know instantly. I know instantly how to do it. So I do it by texture of the actual batter mix um, oh just a, just, a, just a quick comment that I've done I preheated the hot oven to 200, 200 fan assisted or it's about 180 normal gas more 8 around. in other words you need to have an inferno in your oven and I've put some lard which is the best thing that you need for batter mix so that's uh, in the oven now getting screamingly hot that's what you need screamingly hot batter uh, sorry lard right let's get on with this so let's see if we can do the professional way oh crack your eggs Five. Yeah, I don't think you've ever made a Yorkie this big. No, I've never made a, a massive Yorkie. Well, normally what I do, I make individual Yorkies, but today it's sort of like an experiment. So, what, whatever seasonings or whatever flavourings you want, traditional Yorkie puddings just have salt and pepper. But as we're we the are not traditional, we're not traditional now. So, as we're the nice household, we will add what we want. Of salt. Also known as a good pinch of salt, a lot of garlic, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and some chips. And some garlic pepper, because you know we love garlic. I'd say half a teaspoon. Roughly. Roughly. Chives that I haven't opened because of the wrong ones. Mark, open that for me, please. Garlic. Because obviously you've got to have garlic. I'd say that's nearly a teaspoon of garlic because we don't, we like the flavour of garlic. And chives. Probably a bit too much. <laughs> that's about three quarters of a teaspoon. Give it. Put it back into it and give it some more length. A bit of water please in your jar or a cup or whatever you uh, we can get hold of. How much? Just a little, yeah, just a, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Shall I be shall I be extra nice and try and measure it? Just so people have got a sort of understanding of how much goes in there. Let's try with a cup version. Uh, you broke the cup. I broke the cup. I put it up oil, Mark. No. What? 
Let me check. Yeah. Two, two cups, cups of milk. milk. And I'm going to say half a cup of water. I might add more as we go along. Mark, could you just stir that egg for me and then give us a quick wipe? So we're just going to dry the cup and give you a sort of a, an amount of sort of pudding. And a whisk. You know when you do a cup of flat? Yes. How do you do it? Do you get it in and try and squeeze as much in as you can? Or do you just scoop and scrape? Scoop and scrape. Yeah, no, I that's, that's sugar. When you do that, you know, looking to do the sugar, yeah, yeah. then you pack it, but you don't you don't pack flour. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube pack flour. No, you just... Never scoop in the level. Scoop in the level. So let's start off with one. Probably going to dry it as good. Not bad. Now I can tell already that's not enough. No, right, right, what you should not do is overmix. So just as it comes to being mixed, it doesn't matter if it's got the odd lump in, don't overmix it. Right, I'm just going to add half. And you want this slot on, I am going to make this slightly thicker than a normal Yorkshire pudding batter because it's got a... It's one of those. And yeah, yeah. Right. Every time we have a video, he's always there. That is true. But every time we've done a recipe, it always lies in this spot. I think, Mum. Yeah. Ooh. It's going to take two cups. So, so, the ingredients are five eggs, two cups of milk. Half a, uh, cup half a cup of water and two cups of flour. Now, plus whatever seasonings. Plus whatever seasonings. Any seasonings you want. Now, I find to make a good Yorkshire pudding is as soon as it's just incorporated, leave it to rest. Four. Four. Well, for well, for normally if I'm doing a Sunday dinner, uh, a couple of hours. <laughs> but as long as you can, as long as you can. Um, Minimum 15 minutes. Yeah, we, we, we don't have the time to wait for two, several no, hours. No, I've, ju I've just finished work, so um, I'm just going to wait for 15 minutes. By the time the um, Yorkshire uh, the the lard is, is, screaming, is, is hot. screaming hot, that's when it's to be ready to be poured in. So we'll be back with you then. Lights. 15 minutes is up. You know when it's screaming hot? When you burn your, when you burn your eyeballs, when you're taking it out. Right. Put it on your pan. On the on the on the on the on the top. Just to make sure it keeps. Yeah. Hot. And wait for it to go. I don't know if you can see the, the smoke. We can see the steam. Is it steam? It's smoke. Ah. When it's smoking like that. Four. Four. Don't waste. What? Do not waste any time. That's going to be huge. Don't waste any time. Keep the heat on. Open your door very quickly. And whack him in. And gently whack him in. Right. Try, guys, it even give noises. Okay. Keep it on a, a scorching heat for at least 10 minutes. And then turn it down just a little fraction so it doesn't burn. And you want to keep it in the oven for the bones. 25 minutes and then just check it 
the amount yeah, you, what you need to do is to open the oven door to get the steam out turn your Yorkshire pudding round and put it back in so it's crisp up and we'll be with you when it comes out wish me luck right marking the seat yeah it's not it, it's 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 mahusive but it's also misshapen but do we care no, no. right yorkie pudding you can always just squish down bits it's, it's actually sinking which is what i want right now we're thinking that if we put the tomato sauce on the marinara sauce it's going to go all soggy so what we suggest because it's an experiment you're going to lay in the bottom with some mozza, with some uh, pepperoni i don't think we've got enough pepperoni for that we're not going to overlap it we've got oh. two packets or should we use a chorizo we've got two packs of chorizo so chorizo chorizo there's a lot more chorizo let's do that get the flour to Teresa so. so let's get in all the nooks and crannies and make sure that we layer it I'm telling you this is going to taste I'm quite intrigued same I mean I'm not a carb eater but today so I, I always thought like mini versions of that would make for great munchy food I'm going to make an exception. Mm. Mm. You might have to put some layers down, you know, especially when it gets to this corner, the cut on this end. That's what I'm about, just squish it a bit. Because. Otherwise, the sauce will soak through. Well, for the gaps in the There's no gap. Meat. Look, I'm making it gapless. Trying. <laughs> Trying to make it gapless. Don't you think this is going to be a bit too much meat? Nah. And there's Storm. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a piece in a minute. I know, I know what you're looking for, Storm. You're not camera shy, am you? I'm not shy, you're in there. Let's just open spreading the sauce, we don't spread the meat. Well, look, I'm just going <laughs> to layer it very gently. Oh, I need, I need, I need another two pieces of half piece. Should I have enough sauce? Why don't I use the pepperoni to finish it? It doesn't look like now, I want two pieces of treats. Don't be only under layer it, don't matter. I don't care. That looks, that don't look right now. Right, okay. Cheese, please. I'm not going heavy on the bottom cheese because it's just there as a layer. So I'm just going to do a thin layer at the bottom. A good sprinkling. I'm not going to not use all your cheese. I may have an exorbitant amount of cheese all the time, but I still, I still not restrained when it comes to other stuff. No, not when it comes to cheese, guys. No, when I'm the only one eating it, that's a different story. Right. That should be enough. Okay. Right. Let's see how this works. I think like a spreading of, you call it a Printing. Oh, this morning now smells, smells really nice. Oh, oh Mark, it's plenty. It's actually plenty of sauce. One sheet. <laughs> That's plenty. Yeah, look, Mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a lot last thing. 
That's my check quite well. I still think it should be called peach in a pod. Something nice though? I'm out. It has a nice ring to it, that does. No, it doesn't. Fair enough. Sorry, but... Peach in a pod. Sounds perfect for this recipe. Mm. I'll still we'll, we'll, nice we'll, we'll, keep, we'll let the subscribers and all the viewers who watch. Leave it up to them to what we call it. There we go. Then, mozzarella. Choose whatever topping you want. I don't think you should choose anything that's too watery. Definitely not. No. So, no veg. Unless you cook it first. True. I'm quite excited. So am I. I think this is going to be very skinny. Oh, God, gotcha. yeah. I'm definitely not having that corner with a massive bit. <laughs> You know what I mean, we all think that. I like to have the smaller dents in it. Brownie. You can wait till we actually taste test it. We've got some nice German pepperoni as well. Mm. Oh, German pepperoni? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tends to be a bit meatier. I think that'll be covered. All our bases. Like uh, one more bit. I can see the difference. Different colours. Mark? Okay. No me. No, if it was me, I'd have onions and stuff on top of this, but you don't like this. I personally just love eating vegetables on a pizza. No, I'll tell you what does not be on the pineapple. pineapple. Definitely not. Anybody who thinks that pineapple should be on a pizza. You're wrong. You're totally wrong. Gordon Ramsay agrees with us. Tweet about it. He did. I only need chorizo on top. Can I have any pepperoni, please? No, no, because I've got chorizo already in here. You know, I think chorizo on the bottom might not have been the best idea. Why? Oily. That's a bit my difference. I'm going to make it soggy. Well, mind you, from my experience, I've had excess meat on it and <laughs> all the oil goes to the bottom, crisps up the bottom. Right, and there we have it. Okay, we're just going to put it back into the oven until it just melts. Until, until you get a nice golden crust on the cheese. That looks amazing. That looks so good. It does. I think I might just turn it down a bit to 180. We don't want it burnt, and then we'll, we'll see you when it's done. Look at this. I'm quite impressed, Mark. Same. But obviously it's gonna be uh, the taste of it's gonna be uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, if you liked our video today, drop a comment below and watch right. out like, share and subscribe and watch out for the taste test, which we're gonna do in our next episode. Um if you want to drop the comments, Mark. Join the Discord. Tell us to get off our asses. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thank you for watching our video today. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye for now. Try.